fast. the others go. Do you want to die? silenced you and your influence but I know you have so much to say you are with me always deep within my hooker I could trap you in this darkness until my end resisting forever this second side of myself or I could learn from you to better understand the world that once was long, long ago. But not here. Not in sight of those who would not understand what I am. Who we are. I have done all I can for my people. It is time to say goodbye and set forth for distant shores and new adventures. Fascinating. Eivor grapples with Odin's memories in a way unfamiliar to me. My own struggle with Loki was intense but brief, ending with a... a mutual understanding of who we were. Where will this new conflict take you, I wonder? This calls for a bit of animus magic, I think. Searching for future memories filtered by emotional intensity, grief, longing, sadness. Here we are, a few images from the future. Let's see where Aver leads us. You should hear this. Ah, this Backrot and his friends had the foolish balls to raid Ravensthorpe. Are the others dead? A few. Most of them escaped. They did not damage much, but made off with some of our gear. Should I get Ranvi? No, she has enough on her table. I'll handle this. So, 
you thought you would play at Vikinger, little man. Are you prepared to go all the way? You won't get anything out of me, Danish scum. I'll never talk. I am Norse. What makes you think I want to hear you talk? Maybe I'll take my payment in flesh. Chop off his leg. It does not need to be a clean cut. No need to sharpen your blade. No, please! Don't cut off my leg! It was Sir Edward who wanted your stuff. He paid us to do it! Sir Edward? Yes, the Earl of West Turner! Or, or that's what he calls himself. Said he hates Vikings. Your lot especially. Where can I find this Sir Edward, Earl of Westerner? I don't know. I'm new. We were supposed to steal the gear, then meet at the longship west of Ravensburg. That's all I know. You can take him to Ranvi now. Maybe we can trade him for a pig. I'm off to check out this longship. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. My eyes. Our prisoner did not lie about this location. Fear breeds truth. to launch a raid dressed as Raven Clan and blame us for it. The Saxons must have stolen this longship. They added our clan banner, but do not know how to mount shields. <laughs> this outfit is still in good shape. I'll reclaim it for our clan. This was a slaughter, not a battle. The wounds are very precise and familiar. You there! What happened here? Who killed the sentries? Not me. Is that a joke? You won't be laughing when I drag you before Earl Edward to answer for your incompetence. I would very much like to meet your Earl Edward. Uh, Captain, I think that's a real Viking. Drop your weapons, Jane, and submit to me! I'm Norse, and you will die for soiling the honor of the Raven Clan. You are true Raven Clan. My name is Roshan, 
And we share a common enemy. Sir Edward. The Earl of Westerna is a puppet, manipulated by one called Alcila, a fitting title given her duplicitous nature. She belongs to an order who employ disruption and strive to further their ends. Your clan is a tool in her schemes. I have met such weavers of intrigue before, and those who oppose them. I would consider the enemy of my enemy a friend. Let me guide you to where you can take your revenge on the Earl. Lead the way. If this Alcila seeks to wield my clan's honor as a weapon, she shall find it cuts both ways. Satisfy yourself with the Earl, and leave Alcila to me. Ah. Uh. Perhaps this task is best left to one who is young, to one more familiar with these lands. I was killing her kind before you were off your mother's teeth. The Earl's death will draw her out. Leave the rest to me. That blade you wear upon your arm, where did you get it? It was a gift from my brother. Truly? Is he a... A great warrior and traveler who discovered many things, and yours. Reclaimed after a long absence. The years without it were the hardest I've known. Your endurance is impressive for one of your years. And I meant no disrespect when I offered to kill the one you... My blade has grown neither rusty nor dull. What I lack in brutish strength, I make up in quiet subtlety. I too can be silent when I choose. Ha! Huh. You may be exceptional among your kind, child. But I am a lifetime ahead of you in that. What do you know of Earl Edward? Why does he hate the Raven Clan so? He blames you for the loss of his title and property. The very land where Ravensthorpe now stands. It was there for the taking, abandoned and uncared for. His quarrel is with those who came before us. It matters not to him. He hates all Vikings and will work with whomever will help discredit you and drive you from England. have a better view from atop this tower. Aid me, be my eyes. That is where Alcila and the Earl may camp. At Ravensburg, no less. They will choke on their arrogance. Alcila's gold has built up the fort's defenses. It will be no easy thing to penetrate. A challenge for some, perhaps. Less so for me. Do you know what lies within its walls? If I describe what I've learned, could you picture it with your mind's eye? I can do better. Soonin! Listen carefully. The Saxons within the outer wall are less disciplined. <laughs> Relying on their Viking attire to deflect curiosity. They will not notice one more Viking among them. I could use the outfit I took off the dead Saxon at the longship. Very good. Also, some Saxons are engaged in tasks which could help you blend in. What of the Earl? Where is he? Within the heart of the encampment. He plays at holding court. But in truth, Alcila keeps him leashed like a hungry dog. The Earl's death must be loud and unmistakable. A clamor Alcila cannot ignore. 
So, a silent approach with the noisome finish. This is your counsel. Is your mind capable of balancing two conflicting ideas while orchestrating this necessary distraction? I could kill the Earl a hundred different ways while composing a great song for the occasion. Do you have a preference? In the open, beneath that tree. Approach silently, then kill him in full view of his men. That will draw the spider out. I will create a commotion and the gods could not ignore. Good. Will you now don the outfit you took from the Saxon imposter? To better blend with the rest. Uh, let me consider the matter before I choose. At least they got our colors right. I need to be patient, or risk rousing suspicion. Perhaps I should put on the Saxon's outfit. Pride makes for a poor disguise.
This area is heavily guarded. I need to take more care. Achieve the desired distraction. Perhaps some fire will draw out Sila's attention. Well, you can, cowards, and never cross my path again! Stay your hand, mighty warrior! I offer you everything I gave the Earl and more! 
An army greater than all others. A kingdom to outshine. It is done. Freya's might to be that deadly after so many winters. <sighs> that was a glorious sidewise one. It was as though Hell Queen of the Underworld descended from that tree. Uh, I think I felt her in my bones. And not in any comforting way. Are you? Uh, I am fine. Though I will pay for that glory later. So, now that your destiny is achieved, will you seek a more peaceful path? I'll see there was merely an obstacle on a long road. This is the real prize of the day. I'd retrieved it after I put that witch to rest. What is it? The future. A seed to plant in Jerusalem. So the fates are not finished with you. Does it ever end? And you? Are you satisfied to have achieved your vengeance? My greatest satisfaction is knowing that the honor of the Raven Clan is unblemished. And that my people are safe. As it shall ever be, so long as you are the champion. Goodbye, Eivor Wolfkist of the Raven Clan. Pythons Bureau. Another memory fragment here. Good day.
fragment is close. I feel it. Let's move this timeline. Eivor, have you given my offer some greater thought? No, Hytham, I have not. Then I will ask again tomorrow. How does a heart so large hide in such a modest man? I don't follow. To work so tirelessly for strangers. Fighting not for yourself, not for your people, but for all the world. That takes compassion of a size I have never known or seen in others. Ah. <laughs> I thank you. Do you not worry about your own family? Or your clan back home? How did you come to be so ruthless? I do have a clan, as you call it, but... No family. I was orphaned quite young. It may be this lack that drove me to join the Hidden Ones. They have certainly treated me as a son. I too lost my family. But I gained another. This Raven Clan. I owe them my life, and I would give them mine. I feel the same gratitude, but on a larger scale. You see, anyone can join the Hidden Ones, and therefore... Everyone is worthy of our love. I admire your cause, Hytham. But I do not have the focus needed to carry forth your creed. My mind is often divided between the present and the distant past. And it will take some time to understand why. Ah! Is it time? Uh, forgive me, Eivor. We keep our training to a strict schedule. Oh, of course. Carry on. And good luck with this lot. They're a wild crew. His memory fragment is somewhere nearby. Sunan, guide me. place wrong time
Lord King. Ah, oh, Eivor. You are welcome here. How does it feel to be home? Not as free of care as you might imagine. It has been many years since I reclaimed my throne. But I have never taken it for granted. Not since my time in the marshes. Since then, I have been busy. Guthrum and I are inching towards common ground. A treaty is forthcoming. Is that why you have summoned me? To find common ground? I hope to. You are one of the great lords of Mercia. And calling you a friend would be a benefit to all England. What say you to a treaty, Eivor? Naming you lord of all lands northeast of your settlement. In exchange for what? Your allegiance. Not to me, but to Christ. And to the order I have convened in his name. I honor your offer, Lord. And the trust you place in me. So here is my answer. You gave me this years ago. A beautiful piece. But it sits heavier in my pocket than on my heart. You refuse, then? Have no fear. This is not a new chapter in our conflict. I am leaving these lands for distant shores. You'll have no more trouble from me. In search of new wars? Fresh lands to conquer? In search of myself. Ah. The most difficult destination on Earth. I wish you well, then. God be with you on your journey. I'm a bit full up with guards at the moment. Yours may have to take another boat. My eyes soon. Let this may not turn larvae, but on bear gods. This ship matches the memory fragment. I'm close. He faces the rising sun. Good. So, the rumors are true. The great conqueror has been conquered himself. <laughs> Eivor! How many summers has it been? <laughs> Far too many, friend. Something amuses you. I hardly recognize you. Is this the Guthrum I left behind, or some other gentler man? 
<laughs> the Guthrum you knew is indeed no more. Athelstan, I am now called. My Christian name. Christian name? A new name for a new life. At the expense of all you gained. Ah, uh, I have not lost as much as you might think. King Alfred and I have forged a lasting peace, in fact. He has taken Western Mercia, East Anglia is mine. We are now discussing the fates of East Mercia and the North. <laughs> the Danes, Eivor, are here to stay. With Christ as their Jarl. He is a powerful god. Within his sacrifice hides the greatest boons. Forgiveness, hope, love. Would you not consider hearing his message for yourself? I have no time to meet new gods. I am leaving England, and I've only come here to say my goodbyes. Will you return to your father's land? Elsewhere. To unmapped places, in search of the unknown. Ah, an adventure worthy of Odin. You and he share a love for knowledge and discovery I have noticed. Share is not strong enough a word. <laughs> Come then. We must drink and tell stories before you go. If they are to be our last, they must be our best. <laughs> Survey the area soon. Uh, Young Harold has made quite a name for himself in our time away. Twelve or thirteen years, I think. Sigurd! Eivor! You are welcome here. Come! I got word that you would visit, but I <laughs> did not expect you so soon. Stout men huddled around a map with eyes as hungry as their bellies. Little has changed here. 
Yes. I've spent half my life worrying over hastily drawn maps. But this is not a land we mean to conquer. It is a land in need of aid. Iceland? Yes. Our friend Ingolver sends word that his new settlement is in peril. Cold winters and simmering blood feud. I have agreed to send supplies and men. Enough to bring peace and ride out the winter. Eivor, it may be your coming here at this time to this place. It's a blessing from Thor himself. Would you and your brother lead this expedition for me? I cannot think of a better pairing to see this through. Eivor, this is faded. I long for such an adventure. Tell me your mind. Does your heart fire burn for another expedition? I am grateful for the offer. But I have not come here to walk down well-worn roads. I am here to say farewell. For once and all. For once and all? Are you leaving England as well? I am. Sailing west. Accompanied only by myself. To a land found on no map. For what need? I'll discover that only when I arrive. But that is tomorrow. Today I would like to spend time in the company of those I love. And tell stories from long ago. <laughs> Beginning when? Long, long ago. You understand? Uncle, clear the room and bring mead and roasted minkfowl for three. <laughs> now, where to begin? You are Eivor, yes? Of the Raven's Flock? I heard you had returned. Not with war on your mind, I hope. War is never far from my mind, King Harald. But I have no quarrel with you. Good to hear. Have your victories in England satisfied your its for conquest? Ask me again in ten or twenty years, when the island is all Norse and Dane, and men have forgotten the name of King Alfred. <laughs> so what brings you here, to my shores? I come to speak of Styrbjörn, of a man I call father and friend. I want to ask that in his dying days you'll tend to him with respect, with honor, and see that he dies with dignity. I will do what I can for the man, for he has been a loyal retainer. But there is only so much I can do. A man must care for himself. What you say is fair. Only watch over him. And if he should wreck himself in your care, that will be his burden to bear. That... I will do. Survey the area, Sunan.
here we are. A final future memory. Will you not wait for morning? I must get to London by the week's end. A crew awaits me there. Not even a goodbye? Everyone knows I'm leaving. But not when. Does Randvi know tonight is the night? Yes. We said our goodbyes. <sighs> I wish I understood all this, Eivor. Do you remember my first visions? Before we came to England. Odin. Sigurd. The wolf. The Nornir. Yes. They prophesied so much that came to pass. They were not prophecies, Valk. They were memories. My own. Or, not my own, but lent to me by another. One who lives within me. My second Hugar. Do you understand? I... I wish I did. For so long I considered only two possible futures for me. Surrender to these malicious memories, or reject them utterly. Now I see a third way. And as I grow older, it draws my interest. I want to learn from them. But I do not know where this path will lead me, nor what it might unleash. This is why, for now, I wish to be alone. I see. Thank you for your trust, Eivor. Embrace me, friend. May Odin guide your way. Not this time, Volka. This time, I will be guiding him. Basim, is it? William Miles, I asked to meet you in person. Face to face, you said. So here I am. In spirit, so to speak. So close, yet so far. A clever trick. Quite a trick of your own you pulled off. Resurrection, hibernation. Many years in the making, I suppose. There were some improvisations along the way. You've spent so much time in the simulation these past thousand years. Why so eager to jump into another? A simple curiosity. It has been so long since I saw my friend Eivor. I wish to know how this grand saga concluded. Now you know. So, what next? Where will Basim go? As far as I can, William. I feared as much. Do not. I cherish the creed that guides us. I always have. But you people are infants compared to those I left behind. I need to get you up to speed. So, let's get started. Wait. If we are to work together, there is something I want first. <laughs> Name it.
Viable genetic material obtained. Genetic memory extraction has begun. Estimated sequencing time, 29 days, 3 hours, 4 minutes. You are in for quite a ride, Mr. Miles. <sighs> this is all so strange. And what of Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods? Are these stories true? In a sense, the great cataclysm happened, much as your legends say. There were earthquakes and storms, wars and famine. My people died out. Yours thrived. But you say there were no gods as we know them. So what natural force could cause such an upheaval? How to explain? Does the term solar flare mean anything to you? I don't think so. This may take some time to describe. <laughs> Not a problem. Time is all we have left. Father. It's quiet here, a lovely place to live. <laughs> 